lot of fish right there. How'd you make out to it? You're welcome. You're welcome. That's all I gotta say is you're welcome. Thanks. You're welcome, huh? Seriously? All right, folks, I want to welcome all you little gumdrops out there, Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. What's this episode? It's a compilation of just stuff, all right? A couple of uh, trips I did with the young guns, the old guns, and Bass Bandit Charters was out there whacking fish with spear guns, all right? Every fish apparently was shot in self-defense, so don't uh, do any negative comments below. Only like, all right? The other stuff, man, geez, I got a lot of drama. What? All right, for this episode, we're going to start off with Biscuit Benny right now with a nice fish. It says we're... That's right, that's right, cup. Look at the rat. Oh, set that hook, on. kid. Set that hook again. Is that a fish? That's a good fish. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, it's all good, Jay. It's, this is his moment right now. This is Benny's moment. Yeah. This is Benny's moment. <laughs> this is his fish. Oh, oh, oh God, that's a big jumbo. Oh, shit. Hold on, kid. Hold on. Oh, little lineup, little lineup, no, he's good. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my go God. <laughs> oh, net boy. Oh, that's a good one, kid. Yeah, that good. is oh my God. legit. Hold one, that man. thing up. You can lift it like a striped bear. Oh, oh, wow. show, the, show your people out there. People will love you. Benny Bur Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Benny Burr's not sad. Oh, yeah. Hold it out to me. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. How are you? That's jump. Check it out. <laughs> it's Benny alive. Oh, full cool already. <laughs> nice fish there, Ben. That video did it no justice, unfortunately, how big that fish was. But let's uh, go into the young guns now. Catch a couple of fish right now. And then we're going to relocate the hook because something got a little screwed up. It's a movement. I'm going to put us back on the fish. All right, so we're going to do that right about now. Oh, this has to come up. This is way you off. Just it's wrap that once and then go up forward. What do you want? Go ahead. Go forward with it. Hunter, hold this line for him. Oh, walk forward? You go up. No, he's going to hold this and you go up to ready to pull it. Okay, guys, all I did right there was I just hit a mark on these Evo 3, and that's where I'm going to drop the hook, and it's going to set me right back on the same track into the piece where I want to be. Drop it, Jake. Drop. Oh, my goodness. He's hiding his waypoints again. Can you get that, Hunter? Are we going to stay there? That's where we, that's where we want to be. Yeah, but we're right in it. Yeah, lock it up. Oh, my God, babe. Mm. Not. Sometimes they die. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. That might be. All right, man. There you go. Show the ladies what you got there. There you go. A little black fish. I ain't done. Yeah, how you feeling? Mark the hole. There you go, okay? All right, now you can take your time. Now you. Yeah, that's it. That's got a high wolf. Like the right guy. You're out of the woods, yeah. Fine, like a blackfish. That guy is your black. I'm gonna say, see this. Oh, so? Come on, son. Yeah. Oh, wow. real, 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 real. Yeah, I got the one that I want. This is great, I'm sorry. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Well, you're, you're so crazy with that, Jake. Set the hook. Once you do that, you're giving slack. Just whack the fish and reel. Set the hook and reel down into the fish. <laughs> what? <laughs> my ribs hurt. Oh my god. Oh. 
Dude, oh. tell you, he's got <laughs> Man, you're not out of the woods either, bro. My sides actually hurt from that. Oh. Oh, that was good. I said No, he oh. did. It was the way he said it. He was telling you it was nothing bad that he said it. It was just the way he just goes. Rod tip comes all the way up here, Jake, right? And you reel on it. You reel it down to it, and then you just. <laughs> oh my god. Just a little bleep, bleep action right there. <laughs> Show such a good fish. So my issue is I lift up and then I don't reel Yeah, down. see, watch what Hunter just did. See how Hunter just got that one? That was tight. Yeah, he came up to the top and reeled down. You don't bring the rod tip back down because you're giving him slack. That slack, he pops off again. All right, now, in Jake's defense, Jake has been fishing twice for blackfish in his life, all right? He's uh, just starting to fish now, and uh, Hunter's been fishing his whole life, so he knows the techniques of how to blackfish, all right? So the key here is the difference is Jake now, he's setting that hook and he's stopping parallel to the sea, and he's not coming all the way through because he feels the weight of that fish thinking he has it buttoned up and then he's come back down to it, giving it slack and that fish is gone, all right? If you'll see now Hunter now, he powers through it, comes all the way up and he reels, all right? Hunter in this video was using the Tranks 300. The gear ratio is different. Now, I fish the Accurate BV 300, all right? That's a narrow, valiant reel from Accurate. And one crank of the reel brings that bait up 38 inches, all right? Let's do the math now. Two cranks at reel is 76 inches. That's over six feet in two cranks. So when Hunter's up here, or when I'm up there and I crank twice, I already moved that bait up six feet, all right? So that fish right now is gonna have an issue getting down. What happens when you take those two cranks? That rod gets pulled down if it's a, a legit fish. But you already got that fish off the bottom, so you're just gonna keep cranking. You're not gonna whip that rod tip up and down. You're just gonna keep cranking and bringing her up, all right? There's no neat reason to whip that rod tip around you'll see that happen everybody likes to do that it's just i don't know what that is and it's one of the one things that i do when i take people out fishing is saying tell them to stop it you know stop doing that stuff keep that right just keep whipping that rod tip around so you're losing <laughs> on the way down when you bring it up and you jig on the way down you're always giving that fish slack and you're giving them a good opportunity to spit that hook sea bass will spit it blackfish are a little more difficult because when you blast that hook through a blackfish's mouth it's very rubbery and that hook sets really seats in there really well all right it's pretty difficult to lose a blackfish the makeup of their mouth how rubbery it is that and it's 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 tough i mean you'll see that when we try to hook them it's like oh gee i can't get the hook out so that plays to the advantage of the blackfish angler all right so just take note of that all right the accurate bv the boss valiant 300 has a gear ratio of six to one all right so again that's 38 inches now the turn which is a star drag which is back to old school i make the old school newels and stuff like that that's what blackfish or bottom fishermen really dig is how accurate now put out these turns now which are star drags all right that's just people dig that it's old school and i dig it too as the turn comes in two gear ratios it comes in six to one or 4.7 to one the six to one has a uh, a retrieve one crank all right one revolution in that handle yeah. brings that that bait up 38 inches it's tremendous all right back to the old school newels not even close to uh, how much that moves that bait all right the 4.7 to 1 will move that bait up 30 and a half inches which is still significant and you know what I'm saying you get three two three cranks on that fish you got that fish off the bottom all right so again we're going to go through that gear ratio and why low gear ratios and high gear ratios are good for each species and different types of fit we're going to get that video done hopefully but that's my point here hunt is way up top two cranks he's got that fish up, up over six feet you know that's 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 legit and then that fish is going to pull down he'll come down then he's going to work that rod all right don't be fooled about that half ass hook set when you have it and you feel the weight of the fish and you start reeling, just say hello. Come right through that fish, blast through it, reel down to it, and catch the fish. I know I beat this to death in my blackfish videos, but I guarantee you it will make you a better blackfish fisherman or woman if you use those uh, concepts, all right? Come through the fish, reel down to the fish, and make sure you have them hooked up. If you don't have them hooked up, game over, all right? So now let's go to a con shallow right now. Who's it going to be? Let's go to my other voice. All right, folks, we got long hair Joe. Our Captain Marco on the Christina Maria Charters out of Montauk. Nine plus pounder, nine pounder as you see here, back. long hair, dumping that bad boy back in there to fight another day. Nice catch and release there, kid. Congratulations for being this week's kind of shout out of the week. That was the one. Really? That's a big fish. Alright, folks, that was young guns right there catching blackfish, sea bass. Now we're gonna go, oh, just the pool back there is totally shot right now.
We're going to the old guns now. What we did, we started off in deeper water, and the uh, bite was blah. And then we went into shallow water, 20 feet of water. I gave everybody jig rods with tidal tail jigs, and we whacked the beans out of these fish. When you're jigging, you want to catch the end of the tide to a slack to the beginning. All right? You can't jig in crazy currents. It's just not going to work out. So that's what we did. As you can see when we drop in these uh, jigs. These jigs are dropping straight down, vertical, holding bottom. Feel that bite. No one to say one. And that's how we did it. All right? We whacked them shiitake load of fish. Here's a couple of them. Uh, it's mayhem out here right now. Paddle tails, big black fish. Somebody catch a fish right now on live. Come on, load. A lot of pressure on you right now. There you go. Legit one? Looks like it. Hey guys, in shallow water like this, I don't mind to chum a little bit and let parts of the crab fall down, all right? Remember, the tide's not moving quickly. Those pieces are falling directly under the boat, bringing those fish in, all right? Shallow water, you can get away with that. Deeper water, it's too, they're going to blow away and bring fish away from your boat. So do not chum when you're deep and currents happening. Just do it when you're jigging and you're jigging shallow water, 20 feet or less. That's my opinion. What's that, babe? Not bad, eh? I just literally landed on one. I could eat my feet in two seconds. By the time I hit the bottom, I had got bit. He's close. He's close. He brought the, he brought the uh... Daddy likes that one. Dennis, fill that little bucket up with baits and just walk up to the bow. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous, ridiculous amount of fish over here.
I mean, Dennis, I mean, it's a ridiculous fight over here. I, mean, I don't know if you're missing them or what, but... Keep, right? You don't even shovel your driveway, you just drive over it like a. <laughs> nah, it's skill. It's all about. It's all about knowing when to say when. Uh, I don't think so. I think I'll flip them, but it's good fish. We're just trying to get meat on the boat for you guys. <laughs> yeah, so that one I just said, you know, how you doing? And uh, hooked them up. Alright folks, this next part, viewer discretion is advice. We got the crazy bastards from Bass Bandit Charters. You got Mackay, Scott, Mike, and Dave in the slickers working the deck, alright? They're gonna go down, they're gonna do a little swimming around, they're gonna launch a couple of darts, alright? Are you recording right now? Yes, I am. <laughs> Make sure you let everybody know that the camera adds about 20 pounds. <laughs> I have four cameras on them right now. So, uh, here they go.
All right, folks, as always, thank you for watching Kid Coach East Outdoors. Consider subscribing below, like if you like, share this video, throw it out to your friends on Facebook. Apparently, that moves around a little bit, Facebook. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to get your con hats. Go to allprocharters.com. New con hats are coming out. Black ones. Sick, sick stuff. I don't even know if you can camera, but just stay tuned. Look over at allprocharters.com. Go into the tackle box. See what kind of Kid Coach East gear is there. And uh, that helps fund the uh, channel. Take care, everybody. Brush your hair. What the hell am I wearing pink for? Who knows? Shaggy's got to go.